Hello lovelies! I'm C and welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden and I'm excited now because I know this episode is going to be depressing. Pretty sure we're getting Payne's backstory and from everything I've seen this is not going to be a fun episode. It's going to probably fill with a lot of pain. Yeah okay let's get straight into the episode. I had to do it. I had to. Yeah, he was like, I don't know if I really want to face him right now. <laughs> Maybe we can settle this a different way. Of course. Of course his parents. This is so sad because it's like it starts with fear. And where would they go? Oh, his dad looks so scared. It's weird. Like, I know how this is obviously going to end, but, like, even I'm, like, so anxious <laughs> watching it. I'm like... Ooh, and they had to be from the leaf. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him for just being scared. They literally just killed his parents. At least they feel like, you know, we did something wrong. But yeah, the fact that they did it, it doesn't change it. Oh yeah. He must have very conflicting feelings about the leaf because you know, dry on one hand helped him, and then these two killed his 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 parents. He's gonna kill them. This is sad because it it happens to people. Like to this day, shit like this happens. And that's why there's so many orphan kids in like war. Damn, that dog saved his life. It looks like it's hungry too. Yeah, I was gonna say the dog just looked really hungry too. They really gave him hope. They're gonna close the door in his face, aren't they? Can't give him like some crackers? 
like a piece of bread like I can't even be mad at the man because I don't know his situation either but like I honestly I when it comes to kids man I, I can't that piece of fucking shit oh my god how do you look at a child who's hungry and say I have no food when you have fucking bread all over bread baskets all over your flipping house? I know it's one bread basket, but I'm pissed off. Oh. Where did she come from? <laughs> Was she from that house? So she saved him. <laughs> yeah, the dog's like, I'm hungry too, man, please. And this shows his character. This is why I cannot hate him. Even though I really want to a lot of the time, I can't. In a different environment, he would have been a very good person. And even still, there's like, it feels like he's fighting internally with himself. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I mean, as long as they're not stealing from other people struggling and suffering. Oh, fish goes bad, man. You can't, like... <laughs> Damn, they are good. They have a system. I know he had to have died, man. And that was, like, the last straw. It had to have been. たまにはこんなこともあるさ。そうだね。だがと。お前夢はあるか夢。ああ、ノー。僕はこの夢を終わるつもりはねえんだ。僕には<笑><笑> Uh, so this is where that ideology came from. What the f Oh my god, all I want to do is swear in this. All I want to do is swear. You attacked defenseless children for what? Who was this? I guess it was a stray. <sighs> oh, and this is when they saw them. Oh my god, of course the dog died. Fuck. <laughs> It's sad because Yahiko just, he kind of feels like the, the hope in this group. So I'm, I'm genuinely not surprised that 
things got so much darker after he died because I can see how this story ends already. I I already I know exactly how this is going to end. Not necessarily the genuine way of how he dies, but I know he dies. And that's almost like the end of hope. But that desire to fulfill the dream remains. It's crazy that they literally were seeking them out. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, it's a trap. This is really messed up. <laughs> like, genuinely messed up. Damn. Ah! Holy shit! So he protected them. But obviously he doesn't know how to use it. He I like damn it really was luck Yes, Orochimaru yeah, this is definitely gotta have like like I was saying before, like a weird um like dual feeling of anger, hatred, and then kind like attached to that people, right? And I think it's just that life where you look at certain people and you think of them as your enemy, but it's like even if one person in a group of people has hurt you, not all of those people are evil. But as a child, that's all he saw of these people, and that's what he assumed all of them were like. Is there a reason you are trying to kill this child? Like, I, I don't understand. They're children. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It was you or your best friend. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's true. <sighs> and that just shows that just shows that his like true character uh, like what did they do to this child it's so sad ものすごく相手に腹が立ったな。頭が真っ白になって、目が夢中で。それで気がついたら、相手は倒れてた。It's kind of scary how good he is at just immediately killing people on sight. This is why I hate and love this show. Because it's always the ones that hurt people the most that usually have had the saddest upbringings. And it's just a way of protecting. Yeah, 
Exactly. It's true. That's why there's a difference between sympathy and empathy. Loss of innocence. その時の俺の答えはすぐに見つかった。僕はただ二人を守りたい。Yeah. And that's the thing, like what would you do for those that you love, right? Would you would you kill? Would you maim? Would you harm? この世は戦いばかりだ。憎しみばかりがはびこっている。uh, honestly, pain. This is why I can't have, hate pain from the beginning because pain reminds me of Gara. I make this comparison already, but like, it's the same thing where you are literally such a loving child who has been pushed to hatred and anger. It's gonna, oh, I was gonna say, if he had literally, like, brought them with him, spent more time with them, like... That's a thing, like, it's like he's trying to fight a losing battle. And after a while, when you're, when you're always trying to foster peace and your resistance is war and fighting how do you keep being peaceful they were betrayed right they were betrayed i'm sure they were betrayed and they had no like adult guidance which was not their fault yep not shocked. I knew that was coming. Yep. Betrayed. Betrayed. Oh. oh my god, I hate that guy. Oh my god, he's really just ruining everybody. Pain, you should have just came in and went after this one man. <laughs> I hate random cough. <laughs> oh so not only did he die, but he told him to kill him. What a piece of shit. No, kill all of them. I'm genuinely fine with it. This is how you break somebody.
I'm so I'm so done. Oh, is that why his body is is in the machine? Oh my god. He tried peace. He tried peace, man. He tried. It's like you can't even blame him. He tried to be peaceful. He tried to help people. Use what he could do for good. And at every turn, negative, horrible shit was happening to him. Like, what was he supposed to think besides, you know, the only thing I can do is become, um, a harb- a harbinger of, like, you know, an angel of death. Oh my god. I- I knew this is why I couldn't hate him. I knew his story was gonna be sad. I, uh, that is so messed up. The fact that he could do this. And I'm pretty sure he said he killed that guy. Obviously, Donzo, like that little little rat he is, got out. <laughs> when all you can see is power, you don't care who you step on to get it. And he's just been pushed to his absolute limit. Doesn't matter. This man is gonna make it his mission to get you, but I'm pretty sure he told Dryad that he killed him. But yeah, no, he's not gonna stop. Like, it's gonna be his literal mission to kill that guy. And that guy should have known that from the jump. There's nowhere he can he can run. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.成長したはずなのに前と何も変わらなかった。両親が死んだ時と同じだ。and again, it was the leaf. Like it's funny because I had a lot of coffee today, so I was just like. You know, I felt like I was going to be really hyper. And then watching this just completely, <laughs> like, brought me back down. <laughs> I, I, like, how do you even sum up what we've just watched? How do you sum that up? It's, it's sad. But then it, it, it the think the saddest part was just as the story continued, I just, I could see exactly where it was going. You know what I mean? Like you could just see the path that it was taking and everything that I was like, Hey, that's probably going to happen. That's probably going to happen. Everything happened worse than I expected it to. Cause again, I knew Yahiko was going to have to die. Like it, it made the most sense at this point, right? Like he's not present in this future war, uh, future timeline. And 
they don't talk about him being elsewhere so it's like he had to have probably died but just seeing him take that knife without even a hesitation not even hesitating to protect both of them it's like that hit I'm like getting sad thinking about it um let's try to stop uh but it it really like the whole story of pain beginnings which is what these two episodes pretty much highlighted it's sad because it all just feels so pointless and i said it from the beginning when his parents died and um like we can go back and forth and argue whether or not what happened with the leaf like you know we can say that they didn't know who was there they didn't know that they weren't shinobi they were just hungry and looking for food and you know we can justify all of these actions that led up to nagato's parents dying but i think the true thing like the true background of all of it is just it was all pointless what did these wars accomplish <laughs> And I'm not saying sometimes war doesn't have a reason and one that we can all like understand was justifiably needed in its existence. But all of these wars that the Leaf Village and all these other villages are, are experiencing in these time periods, like what is it actually accomplished? I, I don't know if that's just part of the history I haven't heard yet. And I could just be ignorant in this, you know, current time, like, and the things that I'm saying. But it just feels like all of it was for nothing. You know what I mean? Like his parents didn't need to die. His friend didn't need to die. But it's just everyone around them is trying to make them suffer. So I completely understand why his thinking and his mentality and even his life goal became something so warped. It's like what would like what could he have become besides what he became? Every turn he wanted to do something good, he was forced to do something bad. Like after a while, you start to just say, like, you know, literally, fuck it. Like, what what am I doing? How long can you literally be the good guy until you realize no matter what you do, they're going to keep trying to make you bad? And because this happened to him so young, it's even harder because, I mean, sometimes when you deal with things older, you can kind of understand that life is hard and this is sometimes how it has to be and you have to struggle and you have to do this and you have to do that. But he was a child when this started. You know what I mean? Like he was a child and he just kept seeing the shittiest aspects of people. And it's hard to be who you are when everyone's telling you to be somebody else. And I think that's the most depressing part about the story is, as I said, it's pointless and that's not who he is. Like, this isn't who he wanted to be. And as much as I do think he believes in what he's saying based off his experiences, I think if he had had a choice, this is not who he would have wanted to be. And that's... Uh... Like, imagine the good he could have done if everything around him wasn't pushing him in a different direction. And this is, and this is, I said it before too, when uh, Jiraiya first left, they needed him longer. And I, it's sad because again, obviously it's not on Jiraiya to raise these children, right? They're not his kids and I'm not expecting him to be like, you know, I have to take you in for the rest of your lives kind of thing. But they were kids who had literally nobody, had no one to rely on, no one to protect them. And it became like they had to protect each other because there's nobody protecting them. And then they had him come in and not just protect them, but like encourage them and help them and nurture them and support them. And it just left like... You know, this feeling of, I think, safety, which is what, you know, most people, not even just kids, but most people look for. And in such a horrible air, like, the, the hidden rain, like, they, oh God, these poor people. But, like, in that kind of, like, war-torn area, having that 
after not having it for so long. I think it it gave them something that when he left kind of left with him. And I I don't know how to verbalize exactly what I'm trying to say there, but like hopefully you can understand what I mean where it's just like I don't know if it's just the parental or the guardian role that he had and it just like I I just feel like they needed more of him and the sad thing is it's not it wasn't on him it's not me going after drive for not doing that it's like it's just in general they just needed parents and they didn't have parents and it wasn't their fault they didn't have parents <sighs> The whole thing is just so sad. Because it happens. This shit happens. (laughs) I I think that's the craziest thing. It's like, I can be talking about an anime with fictional characters that don't exist. But shit like this happens. There are countries that are in war. There are kids that become orphans in war because their parents were killed. There are attacks that are just in the ground that kids have died in. We saw them evade it. But that doesn't always happen. There are stray attacks that kids get thrust into and die. They saw it here too. That didn't happen to them, luckily. But it's like, there are so many situations where this shit happens. These people suffer. And it's not anything that they've done. And that's the thing. Like, what did the Hidden Leaf Village do that, like, all of this is happening in their area besides their proximity, their location? And this is the same thing that happens to people today. Just where you live can determine whether or not you're going to be dealing with war. Like, that, they didn't do anything. <laughs> like, they didn't do anything. And the only reason why they were betrayed was because the man wanted more power. So how can I go after pain for supporting a man who wants power. That is just the way it is, right? That's just the way this this story is going where it's like powerful people just keep, continue to want power. And everyone else gets to suffer while they strive for power. And there's I don't I don't know how to stop that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not coming in this with like some idea of like I know how to change shit. It's just when you really just lay it all out like it all out on the table it's just it's fucked up it's really fucked up because i can disagree with pain and i still do disagree with what he's trying to do but when it comes down to why i get it and i think that's what hurts the most understanding why he's doing this in a way I didn't really understand before. And the fact that he said this was my second pain, I'm like, yo, is there gonna be more? Like, I don't want, I don't wanna see any more pain. I'm sad enough. Stop giving pain to you, to me. I don't want your pain, man. Oh, but I feel like I, it's almost like you kind of have to suffer along because the man's just speaking his truth. This is what he's dealt with. And even Naruto, he's gone through so much himself. Like, he didn't have his parents, but he never led that life. Even though he was, like, you know, um, bullied, he never led that life. And it's, it's so sad. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not smart enough for the, for this this conversation and <laughs> the the intricate political ramifications of you know why and all the shit that goes behind it for for war and whether they're pointless or whatever in our own world. But in this, I don't know. I haven't seen any reasoning why they needed to be at war. Besides, they just wanted more power, but they haven't done shit with it since they're always at war. But yeah, that's um that's it. Thanks for watching. Some heavy shit. But uh hope you enjoyed it as much as you could. Um yeah, thanks to everyone on Patreon for your support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.